welcome to the show. I'm delighted to join you. I was going to say it's been an interesting week in Washington, but I feel like that has been true for a long time. It is. Yeah, we're on a real streak of interesting weeks. This week, uh, you had the president saying that what was happening with family separation was the Democrats' fault. Uh, obviously, uh, the specifics of the family separation uh, that was not true was the Democrats' fault. But now he signed this executive order, which uh, still allows for indefinite in detention and does nothing to get these children back to their families. Is it now, uh, with those problems that have been created, is this a problem for the president or is this a problem for you and your colleagues in Congress? Well. First of all, it's not unusual for this president to blame others for problems that he had a big hand in creating. Yes. And uh, so, just to be clear, he created a policy a month ago, back in May, uh, his zero tolerance policy. And that policy resulted in what we've just watched aghast on our televisions and, uh, you know, in discussions. It, it's been heartbreaking. Uh, his executive order yesterday, we're all waiting to like, oh, is he going to reverse this? Has he finally acknowledged that this was immoral and that he needs to do something about it? And then we read the details. And of course, it doesn't address the over 2,000 children who are already separated from their parents. And uh, it doesn't, uh, I mean, it doesn't change the fact that we would be jailing uh, children with their families, which is still wrong. And, you know, it's, it's as though the United States government has just kidnapped 2,000 children and there's no plan to reunite them with their parents. And it's amazing that we're talking about the idea that we would need to have Congress pass a bill to make the administration do the right thing here. Uh, but that may end up being what we have to do. With children being used as political pawns, yes. uh, which is something that Attorney General Jeff Sessions basically admitted this is for, uh, Chief of Staff John Kelly admitted this was a, a deterrent, that if you take children away from their parents, less people will come. Uh, isn't it something, you know, obviously this is something the administration is doing. Are you surprised that your Republican colleagues aren't uh, stepping forward faster saying, look, there's one thing none of us should ever do, no matter what our party is, which is use children as pawns? Right, but... They haven't stepped forward when it's happened in the past. So this isn't the first time, although this is probably, you know, almost unspeakable to watch children being ripped away from their mothers and fathers. Uh, but uh, whether it's for deterrent effect, as they say, or to get his wall, mm -hmm. um, he did this with Dreamers. Right. And he did this with uh, the Child Health Insurance Program, which was allowed to expire for weeks and weeks and weeks. We're talking about uh, children getting the care that they need and not being dropped off of it. So this is not the first time, and most of it has been as leverage for his, uh, his wall.